This is Mark Ironmonger coming at you from Santa Barbara Wargaming. We haven't done unboxings in a little while, and so I figured with the release of, of Gene Stealer Cults by Games Workshop, a little bit of a blast from the past, and, and personally my first army when I started playing uh, all the way back in, Trader, in Rogue Trader, that this would be a fantastic opportunity to do an unboxing. So as soon as the pre-order went up, I ordered the limited edition Gene Stealer Cult Codex, and I ordered a few boxes of the, I think it was called Subterranean Uprising that has the, the first and second generation uh, Gene Stealer hybrids, and I got a box of the third and fourth Gene Stealer hybrids, and I think I threw the, uh, the second of the redone White Dwarves in there as well. So without further ado, let's see what we got here. Now bear with me, because I may, that wasn't part of the limited edition codex. I am just using a phone here since I don't have the camera. It's at Santa Barbara Wargaming to do other types of unboxings. So it may be a little shaky. I'll do my best to make it not shaky. It certainly does not like to focus. Well, I hope that you guys can see this. So first off, see that we have the uh, invoice, a little bit of bubble wrap, uh, advertisement, of course, since it's Games Workshop, you have to have these advertisements. Um, they are advertising both Warhammer as well, Games Workshop as well as Forge World in this one. Share your miniatures with us. They finally made their way onto social media, and it's only about... 10 years late that they did this, but I guess better late than never. So here's everything right off the bat. Here's the slightly better view of that. Here's the neophyte hybrids, which, as we saw with Death Watch Overkill, are the second and third generation hybrids. They're the ones that look uh, pretty much like humans, and it looks like they've got a lot of. Imperial Guard type, Imperial Guard type uh, weaponry looks very Necromunda. You could use a lot of these for for proxies for Necromunda. As you see, we got shotguns, heavy stubbas, uh, Weber's seismic cannon, mining laser, whatever those are. Power pick, web pistol, very Rogue Trader, very uh, very late '80s, early '90s games workshop. And then we have. This is the Subterranean Uprising. We have the three different. Get it to focus. We have the three different um, boxes, each containing five first and second generation Gene Stealer hybrids. I'm assuming that these are. I'm looking for where it says 32 mil bases. Well, these have been around the uh, the internet for over a week now, so I'm sure that you know what most of these pictures look like, so I'm not going to bore you with all three boxes, since they are basically the same. Those over there with the other ones, which are, oh goodness. Then, we've got White Door. And I'm not going to do a review of the White Doors. Um, now that Santa Barbara Wargaming is going to be releasing more media content with our podcast, Anything But, as well as you'll see a number of uh, advertisements, commercials, things of that ilk, we will start doing magazine reviews, probably uh, Wargame Illustrated, the redone White Dwarf, which seems to be fairly thick. I have no idea why they do the weekly format to begin with, as well as... Uh, issues of no quarter, but the main reason why I got this issue, aside from it being the issue where we had the return of the Gene Stealer cult, is because it comes with a free comic book. So, interested to see what that comic is. Um, doesn't look great, looks about the size if you remember the old Citadel journals or the old Fanatic magazines, it's about a half size. Um, Pretty substantial, really right off the bat reminds me of where the white dwarves were going before the end times and before they did that horrible uh, white dwarf visions, whatever it was called, the 
glossy profile landscape view catalogs. Anyways, all right, there's that stuff. And then what we've got is that box. There we go. I'm assuming in this box is the limited edition Gene Steeler Cult Codex. Oh, yes. For some reason, it appears that it was upside down. We've got a marking on the box itself of Gene Steeler Cults. Let's see if I can open this up. One hand without too many views of my sandals. Black paper. Alright, so as you see, it looks like um, it looks like a paper or even kind of like a leather-bound tome. I'm sure they're doing to make it look like a, a holy book of a Gene Steeler cult or something like that. And automatically you see the lovely black and yellow hazard striping that we older neckbeards associate with Necromunda and with Rogue Trader and some of the other Games Workshop properties from the late 80s and early 90s, especially the early 90s. Now as you see, here is the unwrapped Gene Stealer Call book. Sorry, again, I have no idea why the camera is deciding that it just doesn't want to focus unless it's up close. As you can see, it's embossed. Some hazard, hazard markings there. It already looks gorgeous. Some of the, um, some of the embossing, it almost looks like it's supposed to be kind of painted in Gene Steeler blood or something, I don't know. See what the oh the top is gonna come off. Let's see what the back looks like. Back looks like air vent. Again with the older late 80s, early 90s uh, aliens and space hulk kind of under hive look that they were so fond of. Top off. Itself. You can see the pages have this kind of iridescent purple sheen to it. Incredibly high quality, which I mean, it was horribly expensive, but very, very high quality. You get to see within this, this fantastic slipcase that there's actually two separate books, or there's the gatefold in the book, we'll see in just a second. So I'm going to pull the first one out. I'm assuming this is going to be the Codex. Again, you've got that glossy insignia. Lovely. There's the number. 669 out of a thousand. Damn. Wish it would have been 666, but that's just because I'm a nerd. So. so, yeah. Looks like I won't show too much of this. Here's the table of contents. Looks like the Gene Steeler Cult Codex. Everything that you can use. And it looks like you're going straight old school Gene Steeler Cults. Songs limo. Artwork is fantastic. Of course, even though this is horribly expensive, the quality is is as high as you can get in the industry today illustrations sectors information different things that you can use it looks like the goliath rock grinder which kind of replaces the limo fantastic new artwork aberrants pure strains and since i have a box of Execution Force, Death Watch Overkill, as well as Space Hulk. I pretty much have my army all ready to use as Brood Brother cultists, first, second, third, fourth, and pure strain gene stealers. 
it's amazing. Okay, so that was the Codex, which I will be devouring tonight. Pun moderately intended. And then the gatefold. I heard a little bit of metal. Sounded like one of the pieces came out. And unlike, I don't know if you remember when 8th edition came out, and they came out with a number of bronzed, patinaed plastic things for markers and tokens and counters. This is metal. I'm very happy at that. This is what all of these type of tokens for Warhammer Fantasy Battle should have looked like. There should have been actual metal instead of all that plastic. Again, fantastic cover, amazing artwork. I'm not going to have this video drag on too much longer, just give you a sense. Of some of the artwork, and these are all envelopes, these are sleeves. That classic, classic piece of artwork in there. This is like a half size kind of book, again, like the old Fanatics. And I believe this is How to Paint Genius Healer Cults. It's just kind of like a freebie that's thrown in there. Check that out. Then we have. Come on, act like a hybrid and get in there. Cool. Then we have some artwork. I'm not going to pull out all the artwork from the other envelope we have there. And then feels like, you can kind of see foam, foam, really dense foam, very well articulated. It looks like these fit directly in the foam. It's amazing objective markers. Six. And then we have cards here. I'm not going to pop these out just so you can see what the cards look like. This is all very snugly fit into the foam and the foam is is pretty rugged so should be able to handle quite a bit of abuse and then I've got my, my data data cards another lovely piece of artwork here and different it's all different artwork on the back of of all of the cards Mind discipline, my telepathic cards. So I'm not going to get into that too much, but there you go. There's an unboxing of the Gene Stealer Cult's new releases, some of the new boxes. Not the Goliath. I'm getting the Icon Ward tomorrow. We may do a quick, tiny little video um, before and after I assemble that, but this is the limited edition Gene Stealer Cult. Codex, and I gotta say, it is very, very impressive. So from all of us here at Santa Barbara Wargaming, may you roll poorly.